Hey guys, welcome to Five Entertainment. Today's video is going to be very satisfying, especially for soccer fans. Revenge is a natural instinct, and karma is a natural force. One must always suffer for whatever one does. Karma is one of the many names given to this simply moral. Even on the field of soccer, a lot of trash talk, rivalry, cold war, and even deliberately attacking and hurting the opposition player takes place. We shall see in this video how different players who crossed the limit on the field were humiliated back by either direct action or a mockery by the opposition team. Such karma moments are just so satisfying to watch. Before we start with the video, do hit the subscribe button and like the video if you want to see more of such amazing, satisfying content. Number 25. Everybody knows Cristiano Ronaldo as Mr. UCL and he never fails to deliver on the big stage. He was an old-time nemesis of Diego Simeone, the manager of Atletico Madrid, having knocked them out of the tournament on multiple occasions. In the 2018-19 Champions League, Diego Simeone's side won 2-0 against a Ronaldo-led Juventus and did a typical celebration to annoy them. On the return leg, Ronaldo scored a hat-trick that won Juventus the tie and he capped it off by imitating the celebration along with the fact that his team has won. Number 24. This is the story of Neymar versus Erling Haaland. This happened in the 2019-20 Champions League round of 16 when Erling Haaland of Borussia Dortmund scored twice in the first leg to hand the team a 2-1 victory against PSG. He celebrated both of his goals in his calm celebration and even said that Paris was his city. While the second leg took place, PSG overturned this result and the whole team celebrated in the same way, especially Neymar, saying that Paris is their city, not his. Number 23. Trash talking is becoming a mundane part of soccer day by day and even later in the video we shall see many more such incidents. Once, Julio Caesar used slang and unmentionable words towards Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but in return Ibrahimovic humiliated him by scoring a beautiful goal in the same match. Number 22. Ajax defender Volber committed a hard foul on the angle of Leon Goretzka, which angered the fans and the authorities and he was given a red card straight away for such a rude and injurious action, while in revenge, which was so satisfying for many. Bayern attacker Mueller handed out a kind of karate kick against the head of Nicolas Tagliafico. Number 21. In the 2012 race for the Bundesliga title, Borussia Dortmund faced Bayern Munich in a huge match. Arjen Robin missed a crucial penalty kick, which led to Dortmund's Nevin Subotic openly screaming in his face in celebration. It was critical of him to act unprofessionally and literally scream and mock at someone in front of the whole public. Later, Robin brilliantly took his revenge, which shut Nevin's mouth by scoring a clean sweep, beautiful goal in the same match. Number 20. Antonio Barragan once tried to hurt Neymar during the match, but ironically, his misdeeds got revenged soon when he got humiliated by Neymar's fantabulous moves. Number 19. The world is a cruel place indeed, because social evils like racism can find places even in the mindset of famous soccer players. Chile Chile's player Diego Volder shamelessly showed a racist gesture of chinky eyes by pulling at the sides of his eyes by fingers to mock the Asian teams. This time karma hit back for everyone's good and Sun Hyung Min got revenge by humiliating Diego Voldes with the beautiful soccer move called Blackhead Nutmeg. Number 18. Now this one is Ronaldo versus Messi. It is a rivalry that deserves no such introduction. Anyone who watches football knows what stage these two great people share. This revenge dates back to 20 2017 when in the El Clasico, Lionel Messi took off his shirt and showed it off to the fans after scoring the winning goal in the league match. Ronaldo didn't forget it and in August 2017 he did the same in front of the fans, much to their hatred. Ronaldo won the match and also the cup, giving the revenge an even better taste. Number 17. Sergio Roma, the already infamous soccer player for his various fouls and misbehavior at the game, got revenged many times, as we shall not only this, but many more incidents of him later in the video. He once played his dirty games with Diego Costa. Diego got revenge by kicking Sergio Ramos in the head. Number 16. Now this one was a proper tit-for-tat moment when back in 2016 Euro Finals, CR7 had to be substituted because of a hard tackle by Payal. He was mocked a lot by the fans of the rival team 
team and he was really disappointed. But later in the Europa League finals, Payal suffered the same fate and had to be substituted. Number 15. At the Spanish Super Cup El Clasico in 2017, Real Madrid beat Barcelona 2-0 on both legs, and the Barca players were visibly frustrated. Their mood wasn't helped by Madrid captain Ramos, who took every opportunity to wind up his opponents. At one point, Messi tried to get the ball off Ramos to take a quick free kick. The defender looked as though he was going to hand the Argentine the ball, but at the last moment, threw it over his head instead. Then during the match, Messi tackled him twice and took the ball away, which was a very satisfying moment for all the Messi fans. He actually deserved it. Number 14. Now this incident really took over the internet. Cast your minds back to October 2014. The France U21 defender had netted a late diving header against Sweden U21 to put his nation on the brink of Euro 2015, with Kurzawa brashly saluting in the face of opposition striker John Giudetti. How he would live to regret that misdeed. Sweden battled back in dramatic fashion to qualify, humiliating Kurzawa in the process as France failed to reach the eight-team tournament. But the drama didn't end there. Oh no. After sneaking through their group in the Czech Republic, despite a 1-0 defeat to England, Sweden thumped Denmark in the semi-finals to set up a final with Portugal. And the most satisfying of scripts was completed when the Swedes clinched a penalty shootout win on Tuesday evening with Giudetti one of four men to fire home from 12 yards. Out came the salutes again, justice. Since then, karma hits again and again and mocks Kurzawa and the French team with that salute. Number 13. Neymar, known for making opponents look silly, received a taste of his own medicine when Maine produced a swift body faint that left the winger embarrassed. It's not too often Neymar gets the, well, the Neymar treatment. The social media laughed a lot over this incident, and the Neymar fans were eager for a revenge. But to the fortune of Neymar fans, he did the exact same thing in the next match and showed the world who the bigger savage is. Number 12. Liverpool winger Ryan Babel was once not being treated well by Raphael. During tackling, Raphael shouted at him and shrugged him as if he is literally no one to him, but then a few minutes later, his fans cheered in elation when he literally pushed Raphael twice to the ground and scored a goal. Number 11. The Armenian fans tried to get under Cristiano Ronaldo's skin when he arrived for the Euro 2016 qualifiers by heckling him with Messi chants. The plot worked against the fans as Ronaldo went on to score a half trick by guiding Portugal to a 3-2 win over Armenia. CR7 scored this brilliant hat-trick and celebrated by showing Armenia fans that he doesn't hear them. They can literally shut their mouths up. Damn savage. Number 10. Dario Benedetto opened the scoring for Boca and immediately taunted the opposition by sticking his tongue out to the defender of River Plate, which was something so childish and hilarious, but of course, karma had to happen, and River Plate beat Boca Juniors 3-1 in the extra time. Number 9. Neymar was fouled three times in a few seconds by Moata Zemzemi during PSG's 2-0 French Cup win over Strasbourg. The brilliant star responded by doing a rainbow flick over the head of Zemzemi and humiliated him and seeked vengeance. And Zemzemi was left with nothing but mocking faces, even though Neymar suffered an ankle injury during that move. Number 8. Now this one in international soccer was a case of body shaming when Matt Miazgo mocked Diego Lainez about his height, but the good part was that Diego Lainez got revenge by humiliating USA players and showing Matt Miazgo that height doesn't matter by scoring a goal in the same match. Number 7. Once Sergio Ramos missed the second leg because he got deliberately yellow carded in the first legs so that he could get free play in the quarterfinals. But then, Karma interfered again and he saw his side get knocked out of Champions League by Ajax. Well, this is what we call the instant karma. Number 6. Manchester United pulled off one of the greatest comebacks in Champions League history as Marcus Rashford's last grasp VAR penalty sealed a 3-1 win at Paris Saint-Germain on Wednesday and sent the English side into the quarterfinals on away goals. Never in 106 attempts in Europe's premium club competition had a team progressed in a knockout tie after a 2-0 home defeat, but Rashford's stoppage time penalty, the first he had taken for the club, put Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's side through in the most dramatic fashion 
as the tie finished level at 3-3. Number 5. Argentinian soccer player Di Maria brilliantly set up both goals for PSG after being pushed into the Old Trafford hoardings by Ashley Young and proved his thwart and told his rivals simply to never mess with him. Number 4. In the El Clasico clash at Santiago Bernabeu, 3rd March 2019, the Barcelona captain came in for a challenge on Sergio Ramos, but the Real Madrid captain ended up hitting Messi on his face. Of course, Messi and Ramos had always been rivals and before too long, Messi's teammate Ter Stegen came like, bro, I got your back and hit Ramos in the face. Number 3. Another pure karma moment was when Liverpool's Sadio Mane made Joshua Kimmich pay for shouting in his face. During the first leg, Kimmich passionately shouted in Mane's face after making a successful tackle. The Senegalese attacker shrugged it off, smiling back at him. The Bayern Munich right back went on to pick up a yellow card, which ruled him out of the second leg, where Mane delivered the goods by bagging a superb brace. Number 2. After Juventus suffered a great deal of humiliation and setbacks, and Ronaldo was made to feel as if he should rethink his awards, Juventus on 13 March 19 produced a stunning Champions League comeback, winning 3 zero at home against Atletico Madrid, all because of that lovely hat-trick hit by Ronaldo and who else? Number 1. The last but not the least. The defender Chris Smalling gave Lionel Messi a bloody nose and eye in a brutal clash during Manchester United vs Barcelona due to which Messi fans were in deep rage and agony, and the social media literally burst out with anger and Messi fans could not find solace in anything. But soon after, karma interfered and, in the next match, Messi alone scored two two goals against Manchester United for Barcelona and hence gave two tight slaps back to Chris for his intentional humiliating behavior and the fans called it a super savage moment. So these were the 25 deeply satisfying pure karma moments in soccer. We hope you enjoyed the video. For more amazing content, like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon and stay tuned. We shall come back soon with more amazing content. Till then, keep smiling, keep growing.